Hi, I'm Blake Nickel with Denison Yachting. We're here in Miami, Florida to walk you through this 2011 Beneteau 52 Swift Trawler. Having spent several years captaining boats, there are a handful of things that I look for before I list a boat. Today, before we do the walkthrough, I'm gonna show you three of those things. The first thing I wanna mention are the brand new Raymarine Axiom touchscreen electronics. These state-of-the-art monitors tie in all of your electronics, as well as the five cameras that are built into the boat. The second thing I wanna point out is the custom folding radar arch. While this might not seem like a big deal to some, those that have done the Great Loop or are planning to do the Great Loop know that they need this to fit under the 19-foot clearance. The third feature I want to point out today before we start the walkthrough is the yacht controller. We're going to start today's walkthrough all the way aft on the swim platform. Incorporated into this swim platform is a teak sole as well as a swim ladder. Transitioning from the swim platform into the cockpit, we pass through the transom door on the starboard side. To port, we have L-shaped seating that wraps around this custom varnished teak table. To starboard, we have a stainless steel ladder that serves as one of two access points to the flybridge. This cockpit has also been outfitted with a complete Isinglass enclosure. Centerline and underfoot is your engine room access hatch. Upon opening this hatch is a huge lazarette, which is great for storing lines, fenders, and supplies you need. On the forward bulkhead is your engine room access. This 52 Swift trawler is powered by two Volvo D9 engines that are 575 horsepower each. They give her a top speed of about 23 knots and a cruise speed of about 18 knots. If you're looking to do that long range extended trip, she'll also sip fuel at eight knots. We're going to continue our tour by taking the starboard side deck up to the bow. On our way up to the bow, we pass one of two midship boarding gates. One great feature about this boat is the Portuguese style bridge that gives you safe access around the entire bow. Forward of the Portuguese bridge, you have this plush seating area facing forward. Beyond the escape hatch is your ground tackle. Included in our ground tackle is this oversized windlass. Now standing back on the aft deck, we're going to access the salon through this two-leaved sliding glass door. Here on the port side, we have our U-shaped seating that wraps around an expandable table as well as a 32-inch high-low TV. On the starboard side, ahead of your armchairs, you have a large storage cabinet. Directly across from the cabinet is your galley. Included in the galley are a three-burner electric cooktop, a convection microwave oven, as well as a dishwasher. Across the walkway in the galley is your fridge and freezer, as well as an ice maker. Stepping up from the galley, we come to our last stop on the main deck, which is the lower helm station. Your lower helm station is here on the starboard side and features everything you need to be an owner operator. On the lower helm station from port to starboard, we have our systems control, which shows your tank levels, battery voltage, and your lighting control. Below that is your fusion stereo control. Moving over, you have the first of your two Raymarine touchscreen multifunction displays. This one is currently displaying the FLIR night vision camera. We have our Volvo Penta engine display, which displays your RPM, coolant temperature, voltage, fuel level, everything to do with the engines. To the right of that is an RPM gauge for your starboard engine, as well as your rudder angle indicator. To the right of your two touchscreen displays, you have another Raymarine data display, which displays your current location as well as your course and speed over ground. Below that, you have your Raymarine autopilot, as well as the remote for the autopilot. Your main engine controls are located comfortably on the starboard side, as well as your bow and stern thrusters and your trim tab controls. 
On the aft bulkhead of the lower helm station, you have a nice seating area so that your guests can join you while underway. Forward and center line, you have your stairway down to the staterooms. Now standing in the lower companionway, we have access to our three staterooms on board. Directly behind me is our forward VIP. Here on the port side, we have a guest stateroom which features over under berths. Directly across from the stateroom is a fully equipped head with a separate shower stall. Aft in the companionway is your full beam midship master stateroom. On either side of your master berth are large hull windows. Below the window on the starboard side is a vanity. Also included in the master stateroom is an ensuite head. Leaving the master, we're going to take the stairwell up to the main deck. Access to your flybridge is directly behind your lower helm station up the stairwell. All the way forward in the flybridge is your upper helm station. The upper helm station is more or less a replica of what we saw down at the lower helm station. Directly behind the helm station here on the flybridge, we have a large dinette with ample seating area for entertainment. Directly across from the seating area, we have an electric grill as well as a sink. The entire front half of the flybridge has an enclosure to keep you shaded and dry. All the way aft on the flybridge, you have a 13-foot Walker Bay tender as well as a UMT Davit, which has a lift capacity of 1,000 pounds. From her updated electronics and yacht controller, all the way to the finer details like the custom folding radar arch, she truly is turnkey and ready for your next journey. On behalf of myself and the Denison Yachting team, I'd like to thank you for joining me in this video walkthrough tour of the Beneteau 52 Swift Trawler. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a walkthrough, please feel free to reach out to me anytime.